morning everybody and welcome to a work week in my life video that I have not done in a hot minute. My vlogs have been kind of like a hodgepodge of different days, but I'm determined to make this one a full work week in my life because I miss doing them and I really, you guys really like them. So it's Monday morning, it is just past nine. I'm just kicking off my work day, work from home. I look wretched. <laughs> so this is a great way to start the vlog. But um, I feel like I didn't fully recover on my Sunday for some reason. It was really nice. It snowed this weekend. It was like fully nor'easter snowstorm in New York Friday to Saturday. So Sunday, yesterday, it was super clear and sunny and then it was just snow on the ground everywhere. So we walked through Central Park in the snow and it was so beautiful and just like the nicest relaxing Sunday. And then my friend Marissa, I didn't vlog with her, I just realized. But my friend Marissa from college was visiting for the weekend and we got dinner together and then she hung out here until she went to catch her flight in the evening. So that was really nice, but I didn't really do my full Sunday routine. I feel like I'm just thrown into Monday and here we are, but it's okay. I am getting started with catching up on emails and going through and gonna fill out my planner for the day. I need to set up like my priorities and what I wanna work on this week. Now, because it's Monday, we're at the top of a new week. I started this planner. I talked about this in my last video, but it's the Mind Your Business Planner by Nitsan Writer. And I started this last week midweek, so I didn't start like on a fresh new week page. Big things happening today with a new week, new me. Goals for the week, <laughs> stay alive. It's the last day of January, bless up, because I am so ready for January to be over and to move on to February closer to the spring. And I mean, January has been a great month, honestly. I can't complain, but I can and I will also. <laughs> goals for the week. What are my goals for the week? I need to catch up on some events that um, I was covering that I didn't watch the entirety of because I had other things going on last week, so work-wise. So goals for the week. Last week was kind of busy. I do want to go grocery shopping. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a couple weeks and I think I want to do some more like healthy meal planning kind of thing. So I'm going to do make that a goal. So like consistent meal planning and workouts. It was fun while it lasted, but I don't know. I just want to get back into cooking more. I'm going to do a work one, which is confirming speakers for an event I'm planning. So I'm just going to say that. Yeah, I don't really want to fill out this entire thing. There's a habit tracker part, but I'm not really sure what habits I want to track. Maybe I'll do movement every day. So even if it's not a full workout, like getting a walk in to like 30 minutes at least. I could be better about my water intake. 100 ounces of water, let's say, is a good starting point, even though I could definitely do a gallon. I'm gonna make a goal to end every day with a clean inbox, <laughs> which is kind of depends on how many emails I get for the day. January 31st, good riddance. Anyway, I'm not actually showing the planner because I did that last week, so I realize this probably isn't that exciting, but um yeah i'm just gonna start off kind of planning out at least first half of my day i think i want to get a workout in during my lunch break today because i haven't done that in a while and i'll just do like something quick maybe like 15 minutes on the treadmill 15 minute like like weightlifting or 20 minute weightlifting and then come back and shower um and then get on with my afternoon and i want to try and go to trader joe's this evening even though it'll probably be in the dark but i didn't get to go yesterday so i'll make a list of things that i want to get later i need to get to my work stuff now and get some things accomplished before this lunchtime workout that i'm planning to do but i'm excited for the week i think it'll be good i have some exciting things like going on in the evenings too like plans i'm going to a comedy show with my friends tomorrow um, and then I'm going to get dinner with a friend I haven't seen in a while on Thursday and we might be cooking dinner at my friend's apartment another day. I don't know, but we're just going to take it as it comes. I like to use Monday as like a get a lot of stuff done that I need to do kind of thing, catch up on social media stuff and emails and just kind of like get myself set for the week. Um, so I don't usually make plans on Monday, so I don't have anything on the books tonight as of now. So we're gonna take time to do some grocery shopping, get some stuff done, catch up on YouTube stuff, try to get life in order because I didn't really have much of that this weekend. It was mostly just like a fun weekend and a social weekend, which is always rejuvenating in a different way. But I'm gonna use Monday as my reset day. So let's do it. First, I'm starting something I'm grateful for is a part in the planner and I'm gonna say New York snow days. And because it was sunny yesterday, it wasn't even that cold seeming. It was like 20 degrees, but it felt much warmer than that in the sun in the park. So, welcome to the vlog. Okay, y'all. I am pushing through the 3 p.m. slump. It's almost actually four. And I moved to the couch because I feel as though there are certain types of work that I can like still do productively. 
sitting on the couch and so i take advantage of when i'm doing those tasks because it's always good to just like move even three feet away to a different setting so i'm gonna try and i don't know why my productivity today has just been like kind of all over the place like not super focused i mean focused but like i just haven't gotten as much done as i wanted to but I guess Mondays are always like over ambitious because you're catching up and stuff. And I don't work Fridays, so it's like I'm playing catch up from things that came in on Friday and everything. But I'm gonna try and set a timer for like 20 minutes and try and get as much of this report that I'm working on done as possible. I was hoping to get at least like walking to Trader Joe's before the sun goes down, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can. That's the goal right now. So I can feel accomplished and check this off before I log off for the day. And we're gonna get this Monday finished up. I also didn't end up working out during lunch because I had too much stuff to work on and it would just break up my day too much. Um, and it wasn't the right day for it. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I also wanna run to Target and get a couple things. They don't have Trader Joe's. And then come back and work out, shower, make food. And I'm FaceTiming Sierra. We're doing some podcast strategizing. Tonight we haven't had like a meeting to plan out our next month or two of episodes yet um, and she's been sick so we're gonna kind of like regroup after her break get things going so that's my evening and The Bachelor's on tonight but I don't even know if I'm gonna watch it I like started to watch last week's episode and I just got bored and gave up because I really don't care I want to try and be efficient with my time I'm just getting a little overwhelmed for no reason right now so okay cheers let's finish this workday strong and if not strong mediocre okay okay y'all the sun is now set. There's still some light in the sky, so I'm about to race to Target first and then Trader Joe's. I actually had to take a power nap just now. I logged off right at five o'clock and then passed out for 10 minutes and now it's 5.20 and I'm going to the store. I'm just so tired and I don't know why because I've had two coffees and I slept for pretty much eight hours last night, maybe a little less. It's just ridiculous how much sleep is not helping me. So let's go to the store. I Every part of me wants to stay in and stay warm and sleep more, but you know what? We have shit we need to do, and we're getting it done this Monday because I'm struggling. So maybe getting outside and like getting some fresh air will help, but I'm going to throw on a puffer jacket and grab my stuff and head to Target. We're going to get espresso pods, a couple cleaning things, something else that's on my list that I forget already, and then hit Trader Joe's. So... Okay, we're back now. I didn't really show you my groceries because literally nothing exciting was in that haul. It's typical stuff. I got salmon and chicken for the week. So going back to basics, I'm gonna cook some salmon tonight, maybe do a Emily Mariko salmon bowl. <laughs> if people are still doing them, this is my gym fit. I don't even know what I'm gonna do today. I might do some legs actually. Some like glute work, because I haven't done that in a minute. And it'll probably be busy because it's a Monday evening, but so it goes. So we're gonna get a workout in, come back, shower, dinner, FaceTime Sierra, hopefully have some time to relax. Okay, I showered, I made dinner, I cooked salmon for the next couple days and I just made up, it doesn't look that good, but it's like the Emily Mariko bowl with mashed up salmon, um, brown rice and sriracha, mayo, coconut aminos. And then I made this little like cucumber, bell pepper, avocado, corn, lime side salad salsa thing. I don't know, I love this combination. I put like the chili lime seasoning and it's so good and I'm having the seaweed snacks with this and I have this it looks like a lot but I'm hungry after my workout so no complaints and chugging this water and I have 30 minutes until I'm gonna chat with Sierra and then we might watch a movie on Netflix party we were talking about so we'll see but it's a chill evening so I'll probably watch something afterwards anywhere or read or whatnot but feeling good about my evening it's 8 30 so I'm okay on time <laughs> Another day, another dollar. Happy Tuesday, folks. I don't have any morning meetings this morning, so I'm just making coffee at my leisure and gonna try and get started on the things I didn't finish yesterday. <laughs> I'm always trying to read a little bit before I start my work day. So this morning while I sip my coffee, I'm starting Dare Greatly by Brene Brown. I've heard a lot about Brene Brown and I've listened to a bit of her podcast, but I haven't really like gotten 
that into it. I was recommended this book because it recently did a solo episode on our podcast, fingers crossed, about how I'm working on my, you know, vulnerability and self-sabotage kind of stuff, which I talked about in videos before. <laughs> But this book is all about that. It's here, let me see. Yeah, How the Courage to be Vulnerable Transforms the Way We Live, Love, Parent, and Lead. I just borrowed it from the New York Public Library. I downloaded it to my Kindle. So we are going to start reading, see what we think, and then get to work. And these are the questions that she poses like at the beginning of the book, if you wanna pause them and read. Watching Lindsay. Just made a little bagel sandwich for lunch. Egg, avocado, hot sauce, bacon, very basic, gluten free bagel for Trader Joe's. Hello, everyone. It's now later in the day. It's Tuesday afternoon, and I've just been working away, you know? <laughs> I've been staring at the screens, doing the thing, very focused. I thought I would take a minute to talk to you guys about something you see in every single work video, pretty much, which is my blue light glasses. And I always get questions about them. I feel like I talk about them all the time because I'm obsessed with them, but I still nevertheless get asked, where are they from? Do I like them? Do I notice a difference? What brand do I recommend? Etc. Etc. So if you don't know, you can kind of see the reflection of the window. And it's a little bit tinted because these are blue light deflecting glasses. And it's a little bit tinted because these are blue light glasses from Felix Grey. That is the brand I've used. They're literally the blue light glasses that started it all. And I just have been wearing them constantly when I'm like working on my laptop for hours on end, staring at screens. Like you, it's really unavoidable, especially working from home. And a lot of jobs or office jobs where everything is digital on a computer, it's like, impossible to avoid looking at a screen for many hours on end. I found the blue light glasses have made a huge difference in my eye strain and just like feeling the eye fatigue of staring at a screen all day. So Felix Gray set out to create an eyewear that would kind of improve the daily routine of using screens. So the Felix Gray lenses filter 15 times more of the blue light. So if you don't know blue light, it's actually like the light that wakes you up. So there's blue light in sun, in daylight, in normal, light situations <laughs> that it's it's like a healthy amount you know but with screens and the artificial light that comes from them and everything it is definitely not as much as our eyes are designed to just like take on so when you are looking at screens all day and then late into the night it can actually disrupt your sleep because your brain associates it with like oh being awake with the sun i'm supposed to be awake i won't get tired because i'm looking at the screen so then you have a hard time falling asleep but if you wear blue light glasses that'll help filter it out and you get 15 times less the blue light and it's more of that kind of like healthy balance this is my favorite tool whenever i do a video that's sponsored by felix gray as i have in the past as this one is um i love to do this little trick with this blue light simulator pen not simulator it's literally blue light that they gave me brand and all and let's see how can i best I'll use the back of my planner so you see this use the pen hopefully you can see it there's the light it looks kind of light on camera, but it's definitely blue in person. If you filter it through, through the glasses, there, where'd it go? It's gone. <laughs> so that's what it's blocking out. There you go. That's what it's blocking out that's protecting your eyes. I've been using them for years now. I love them. I have, these actually are my newer pair. They're the Nash C69 is the style. So I really like the kind of like clear lenses and the little squared shape. I just think it's really nice because it's neutral. Um, you can wear it with whatever outfit. And honestly, it's nice to just like put something on your face when you're not getting ready and you have a meeting or something. And I also have, this is my first pair. They're the little gold rimmed. I love these also. They're the Hero C24. So they just got a little rim. And they have a lot of really cute styles to choose from and see what fits your face or what your personal preference is. And I've definitely noticed a difference like when I don't wear them. It's the kind of thing where you're, you might honestly be used to just like your eyes being strained by just looking at a screen without them. And then you use them for a while and realize, you know, you take them off for a day and you're like, oh wow, like I can feel that my eyes actually hurt. And that was what you had been putting up with and you didn't even realize it. So I definitely noticed a difference in my eyes just not feeling strained or tired. I used to think that that was just like normal after looking at it all day that your eyes are supposed to kind of hurt or it's just, that's what it is. But I don't notice that when I wear these consistently and they're available in prescription and non-prescription. So since I don't wear prescription lenses, these are just normal blue light. So no prescription on them, but you can also get your 
a prescription with blue light from them. You can try Felix Grey with their 30 day money back guarantee so you can know that you really like them and get your money back if you're not happy with them, but I guarantee that you will be. And they guarantee it too because money back. So love that. They're just a great company overall and I really enjoyed trying their different glasses, using them every day and working with them. So highly recommend, link below, check out Felix Grey. And I'm going to use my glasses to continue staring at my screen to get my work done for this afternoon. It's actually been a relatively slow day. Not slow, but it's, I haven't had um, as many meetings as I usually do. So it's been very chill compared to, it's been like kind of crazy the last couple weeks, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like my work, just the nature of what I do, it's very like this with the busyness it's not just like a constant workload and i know reliably i have to do these certain tasks every week like it's very dependent on what we have going on and so during the holidays it was a little bit slower and then it was like suddenly everyone was back and a million things were piling up and i was trying to like stay above water and just keep up with my inbox yesterday was a, i had kind of a lot on my plate but then today it's like mellowing out a little bit so Things are good. Um, I'm catching up on my emails now. I need to actually come up with some questions. I'm developing a concept note for an event that we are planning. So basically what that is, basically when you're planning an event, you have like a concept note that pulls together the, you know, what you're trying to accomplish with your event, the background that people might need to read, the speakers and the questions that they're gonna be aiming to answer in the panel and kind of like the layout of, you know, the moderator, the timing of the event, how to access it, etc. So I am planning an event for next month. Oh my God, it's already next month because today's February. <laughs> it's kind of a lot, but it's also exciting because it's fun to be able to kind of like put it together. So I'm excited about it. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling together some questions and making some edits to um, what we're gonna ask the panelists. Gonna send them to my team for feedback, so. That's what's going on. I did some, this morning I was like finishing up covering security council event that we were monitoring last week. And it was super, super long. It was like, they had to take a break in the middle of the day and then come back after lunch to finish all of the speakers. So it took me a few days to like go back and get everyone's statements and like pull out what's relevant to us and everything. Um, but that was nice to check off my list this morning. And now I'm getting this concept note done. Gonna catch up with my emails. So that's gonna be my afternoon. And then tonight we're going to my friend's coworkers comedy show. I think I mentioned it's in Williamsburg. What was the thing in the email? I think it's like um, talking about growing up religious, which will be interesting because I went to Catholic school. So hopefully I know some of the references. Anyway, getting back to my business now. I'm also wearing my Blockbuster sweatshirt. Did I talk about that? I don't know, but it's so comfy and cozy too. It's like the perfect seal of a sweatshirt. It's kind of like lightweight and not too stiff. I love sweatshirts that are like, you know when sweatshirts feel constricting? This one's like, last Blockbuster on planet Earth. Back to this, check out Felix Grey, love them. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit for the comedy show tonight. I am excited, it's sold out, it should be a fun time. Um, I'm wearing all black, so, I mean this is it's not really the outfit, the whole outfit is pretty much the coat, which I'm about to put on and show you, but I'm just wearing leggings. These are Lululemon Wonder Unders, and this black Nordstrom BP sweater with gold jewelry that I always wear. Princess Polly, Amazon hoops, and I clipped up these little pieces, and my Timberland boots. The coat is one that I rented from Newly, and the brand is Petite Moments. This size medium, and it's like this faux leather. I just think it's really cute. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet since I got this box at the beginning of the month. Um, now it's actually February, so I can trade it in and get new stuff, but I hadn't worn this yet, so I was like, I'll wear this tonight, and then I can send my newly in and get some fun things for Feb. But yes, this is the look. It's literally all about the coat. <laughs> it's kind of long, it hits my calves. It's not the warmest thing in the world, but it's a little bit warmer out today. And by a little bit warmer, I mean like high 30s instead of 20 degrees, um, which I can manage because I'm layered. I just, I'm gonna put up with it anyway because <laughs> I'm determined to wear this coat. High waist kind of thing. I'm not actually leaving quite yet, um, but I wanted to show you the full effect while there's still a little bit of light. You guys can see. I think it's really cute. And 
very wintry. I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to film anything. I don't think it's one of those where it's like filming for a Netflix special or anything because some comedy shows can be like pretty strict about, you know, no photos or video because they'll be either trying out material for like a recorded performance somewhere or they're recording it and going with a group of friends um, it should be a good time. I feel like I've only gone to comedy shows with like one other person usually. I've never been with like a group. Get to judge my friends of what jokes they laugh at. <laughs> Who does that? Everyone. Okay, Lego. Happy Thursday now. Uh, we skipped a day because I didn't really film anything yesterday, but we're still kicking on this work week in my life. We are back at it at the desk. It is 9.30 a.m. I just started working 30 minutes ago and I thought, hey, I should update you guys. So made myself a little Nespresso drink, keeping me warm. It's like hazy outside today. I can't even tell if it's like actually raining or just kind of like fog in the air, but very cozy vibes. I don't have any morning meetings today, which is rare and truly iconic, so I'm not gonna complain. Again, this week has been a little more chill, which is good. Checking the weather right now to see, oh yeah, dense fog advisory. And it's actually warmer today. It's up to like 45 is the high. Oh no, the high is 51, <laughs> much warmer than it's been. Um, this weekend it was like 15 degrees, <laughs> but then it's gonna drop back down 20 degrees and be sunny this weekend So that's what we're up to. I guess update. I didn't get any footage from the comedy show, but it was so funny Like so good. It was a girl that I recognized from TikTok and um, My friend's co-worker who were hosting it. I don't know if they do like regular shows, but it was called good girls gone sad I don't know if it was like that was the special or if they do that every so often um, but they it was like comedians about with religious upbringings and so it was really really interesting and entertaining and I related to a lot of things because I went to Catholic school when I was in middle school and it was just it was really good like I was dying laughing at all of them and I feel like comedy shows are usually hit or miss like you'll be kind of like eh, for some of the people but this one was just like boom 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 so it was good and then we got drinks with friends after because um, it was like a group of us who went together and it was really fun. I feel like I don't usually see like my group of friends on weekdays that much or if it is, it's like a few people here and there, um, but it was good. Almost everyone was there. Then yesterday I worked and had a couple meetings, went to like a security council briefing thing and I was pretty much just like, Honed in, so I wasn't really filming, I guess, I forgot. And then last night, went ice skating at the Woolman Rink in Central Park. It's something I've been wanting to do forever. I was gonna say I hadn't ice skated in New York before, but I did go to Brookfield Place, like spur of the moment, with a couple friends a couple weeks ago. But it, Brookfield Place isn't one of the like iconic ice rinks, like Bryan Park, you know, Central Park, Woolman Rink, it's in Central Park. And it was just so cute with all the like tall buildings in the back and being in the middle of the park. And I also realized that I'd never been to Central Park in the night, I don't think. Like I've never been there when it was dark and no people. Very fun. They, again, they're doing the two for one deal. Hopefully it's still going. It's up, it's 10 more days. So until the 13th. So certain times, which includes Wednesdays and Thursday evenings, you can get two tickets for the price of one. So that's what we did to go ice skating and I was actually much better than I thought I was gonna be because I've had a little bit of practice now and I held my own <laughs> mostly. It was really fun. So glad that we did that. And it was actually warm out is what I was saying because it was like in the 40s finally, so it wasn't freezing. So it was the perfect night to go and it wasn't too crowded either. So yeah, I just feel like this week, it's been a good mix of like, I have something to do after work almost every day. Um, Monday, I kind of just like caught up on, you know, life stuff. But today is Thursday. I have my work day. I'm gonna plan out in my planner a little bit, try and get things wrapped up since I don't work Fridays. And tonight I'm getting dinner with my friend, Melissa, who I haven't seen. I don't know. We're gonna catch up because we haven't caught up, caught up in a while. And we're gonna go to La Grande Boucherie, which is their like main store, or store. <laughs> it's like their biggest restaurant in, it's kind of like uptown-ish. 50 something street. I've been for brunch, but I've never been for dinner. So looks really good. 
and we get to see her, see what she's been up to. That's my only plan for the evening is getting dinner with her at seven and then it's Friday. It's been a great week, honestly, no complaints, minimal stress, a lot of fun things to break it up. And I just feel like it makes such a difference when you like actually make an effort to go out and try and do things in the evenings, even though you could be tired from work. Okay, I'm gonna get started or I mean, I already started, but I'm gonna finish up email catch up and set my agenda for the day maybe play some music and just kind of get my head in the game it is thursday night now oh finish the work day i keep getting caught on things and i'm just getting ready to go get dinner with my friend melissa like i mentioned earlier we're going to le grand boucherie and i haven't been to dinner there and i haven't been out to dinner in a while now that i think not like a nice-ish place so um i was gonna go drop off my newly box to send it back to get new stuff because it's february now but then i was like yo i kind of want to wear it. oh my sweater is newly it's this like loose turtleneck and the necklace doesn't quite fit over it but i just put my bag under my coat this is also a newly rental by the brand avic lefeels my favorite so it's like a cute brown and black mix kind of oversized it is raining, so I'm just gonna grab an umbrella because I don't really feel like wearing anything with a hood. And my coat with a hood is kind of heavy. And it's kind of warmer today, so we're gonna go with this. I think it's cute. Crossbody bag. Oh, there's some serious sirens going on. Okay, and I need to leave in three minutes, so there we go. We got the mask, the AirPods. We've got... I'm gonna put the camera that I'm recording this on in my bag in the hopes that I might record something out. I'm gonna spray my body spray. This is my favorite scent in the entire world. It's the Brazilian Crush. It's just the, like, um... Bum Bum Cream set from Sol de Janeiro. The body spray, have the body wash, an umbrella, and then we're headed out, so yay. There's the full outfit. This sweater is a neutral with this coat, bag, leggings, boots for the rain. Let's do this. This is the restaurant, it's huge. I don't remember what was here before, but they just opened this one recently. But cool ambiance. I am back now from dinner with Melissa. It was so good to catch up. Honestly, we were trying to think back and I don't think we had seen each other since like the summer because it was before I started my job, which was September. So we had so much to catch up on and it was really nice. It was busy at La Grand Boucherie and delicious, of course. I had a really good glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Feeling good. It's always like a nice rejuvenation to catch up with a friend and now i'm home and i'm definitely tired but i want to watch i don't know if i'm gonna watch a full episode but i want to watch a little bit of euphoria i started it finally because everyone's talking about it and i'm pretty sure my algorithms of everything i follow thinks i already watched euphoria because i get it on all of my suggested pages so i'm like you know what fine i'll just watch it even though i feel like i've seen half of it from the internet but anyway i had to start from season one and i am on season one episode three at this moment and i kind of really like how they start with a backstory of all the characters at the beginning it makes it more exciting anyway i don't know what it's going to show you in two seconds because this show is very unpredictable <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna watch some of this and then read and go to sleep very excited i'm gonna sleep in in the morning because i don't have to work oh it's just a day you awake barely and that is my evening and i'm having a popsicle it just felt right hello we are set up now i'm in a robe and just a very vulnerable state here um i just got out of the shower and put on some vaseline not vaseline it's like the cerave healing ointment whatever instead of vaseline um and i have self tanner on and i'm in this very thin robe that i'm trying to make sure i'm not exposing myself in and sitting in my um studio <laughs> because we're about to record the podcast it's been a while since here and i recorded together because she got really sick, she got COVID and pneumonia. So we're gonna do a little catch up episode. It is 10.30 a.m. And I wanted to do a workout before I showered this morning, but then I was like, you know what? What I really need right now is just lay in bed. So I laid in bed and read and just went on my phone, to be honest. And it was very nice. And then I showered, exfoliated, self tanned did the whole bit. Now we are ready to record. So here we go and now i had to restart my computer and everything's like jumping out at me at once so we're just doing like um a little q a episode so it should be really nice i, mean, I feel like i'm doing the pledge of allegiance right now but i'm just making sure my robe doesn't <laughs> slip out um uh, but yeah happy friday everyone it's a rainy gloomy day and um after this i, I actually need to do a little bit more work that i didn't that i want to be like prepared for a meeting on monday for but 
other than that, the world is our oyster. And I need to go run a couple errands. I'll probably take you guys away and figure out my plans for the evening. Things are a little bit shifting because of the rain, but we're gonna figure it out. And it's gonna be a nice end of the week. Yeehaw, let's record this pod. <laughs> This outfit, I'm wearing head to toe sweats and boots because it's raining and then this coat over it and I just look ridiculous. Time to run my errands. We finished the podcast, it went really well. Took a shower, made some lunch and now I'm gonna go drop this to UPS, go to Whole Foods, come back, hopefully not get too wet from the rain, then finish my work in the afternoon and get ready for the evening. So, pretty successful Friday if you ask me. The end of the day on Friday. Well, actually, end of the day, beginning of the night. I'm going out to dinner. I'm going to an Italian place in Williamsburg called Ainsley. I think I might have been there before. Sorry, I'm trying to juggle this, and also I'm already probably late for the train. Um, but I haven't been there for dinner. I feel like I went there for like a midday drinks kind of thing, and it looks really good. So. I'm wearing, it's like the sweater dress I got from Francesca's, but it's just too short, especially because the sides go up, so I'm just wearing it with leggings. These are the Spanx liquid leather leggings, and then this black coat over it and boots. It's raining out, so I'm gonna have to grab an umbrella and then hit the road. Something's on here, but that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everyone. I will see you in my next vlog very soon. Bye.